In this video, I'm going to show you how to select the model properties for um, a REST API endpoint. This is an alternative to using the uh, model properties object or JSON model for this. There's an alternative model where you can build a simple string to pass in the parameters. And you probably should watch the other video prior to watching this one, but uh, but I'll do my best to explain it. Here we have a Kanban card, our sprint card. All of these cards are loaded from the REST API endpoint. And to show specific fields like this where I have the task num project number and the task number together and the task name, and then what project it is and what out the uh, work hours and the actual hours are and who the user and what their avatar is showing, I have to select those fields from the REST API endpoint. Um, and the reason I have to select them or choose those fields is that some of the fields like the avatar HTML may not be a default column. By definition, our REST API sends out default columns and then has a bunch of optional columns. So if your programming or uh, any kind of integration requires access to one of the optional columns, you'll need to define it. And so if you watched the previous video, you'll see we have this concept of model properties object and you build up the properties um, in a model properties array and you say which object type, in this case, I'm getting a list of tasks and these are the fields I want. And then I'm getting a user and an, a project because the task has a user, the owner, and it also has a project, the project property I need to define which fields I want um, in this case too. And what's really cool is the program will only return these fields. So it makes your, your, your uh, program really loose or tight so that you don't have too much data coming at you. And so what you'll want to do to do the alternative way, you can basically just build a string and I'll just call it property string here. And because I'm selecting tasks by default, I don't need to actually say task. I really I want these fields from the task object, which is the same as what I was doing before. And then I'm actually going to put to do the next kind of object I want, I'm going to put a semicolon here. And I'm going to say I want for users and then a colon. I want then these fields as comma separated list. And then for a project, I do another semicolon because I'm switching objects here. And then I say colon, and then what fields I want right here. And it's just that simple. You can see, and here I go. And this is basically, an, um, you know, it's not JSON or anything, but this is sometimes an easier way to program in what fields you want, especially if you're using like Power BI or something and you got to add that to the URL, you could do that. And Instead of passing in a model properties stringified object, I can just pass in to my query string the property string, and that will be the same as passing this defined object. So I can either define the object this way, or I can do a special string for it. And it's the same thing. So uh, as you see, I just switched that. I'll go back to my screen and I reload it and I'm getting basically the same exact result here. Everything's coming out on my cards just properly. Uh, I can uh, flip and flip between using this method here where I put the properties in a string and I separate each type of thing, each object type by a, semi, by a semicolon for the next object, what the object is and what the ID is. Um, it's that straightforward.